No, we like the sound of the law of love, but when we live in fear... But even when they're feeling their emotions, they're often out of harmony with the law of love. They're trying to impose it upon another person and have the other person share in their emotion and share their experience. That's all unloving behaviour, of which there is a consequence. (laughs) (laughs) So so they think they're clearing something while they're creating a whole heap of other things. Exactly. And it's it's a very facade-based kind of interaction with what the depth of what it is we're presenting, I yeah. feel. Yeah. So I feel if we learn to have integrity to the laws, that even just the ones that Joseph has mentioned in these two uh, channelings that Paget did, if we had integrity to those particular laws, we would find the subsequent result would be that we'd be acting in more harmony with love and sometimes we'd be very terrified to do it. Like yeah. there are times in my own life where I feel quite terrified. I know what the law is telling me to do and I also can feel inside of me, I, I'm not sure I want to do that because I can feel what might be the potential outcome, but I still engage the law. So mm-hmm. people say to me oh, that I talk to them about their emotions for other reasons, but I don't. I talk to them about their emotions because the law demands this of me, yeah. even if I'm afraid to do so. Yeah. If I know the truth and I know the truth will relieve a person of their of their unhappiness and, you and know I don't this, share it, yeah. I am breaking a law. Yeah. And, and so to me, uh, there's this integrity that I have to have to the law, even though I might be afraid to say to somebody, oh, do you realise that you just, you know, they're sitting with their wife and I just say to them, oh, you realise that you're now sexually projecting that woman over there, you know, like, um, you know, that, that could cause a whole heap of problems in the mo- moment, um, but, but I can't think of that, it feels to me. I've just got to feel my fear about that, but still engage the law the law that I must disclose the truth that I, that I know for certain is true, mm. for example. And so I feel that if people do that with these channelings, these two channelings, it will benefit them immensely. If people ignore these laws, that are just these basic laws that Joseph Salias has listed, and ignore attempting to embrace them, then of course there are going to be consequences to that. Yeah. And also you, you can't really claim that you're following the principles of divine truth either. Yeah. yeah. So we'd like to thank you for your time today in uh, discussing this, uh, these messages from Joseph Salias. Um, we're not sure what the next message will be from the pageant messages. We have quite a few hundred of them lined up <laughs> <laughs> and, and it, it just depends at the time as to uh, what we feel is important to discuss. But there are so many important messages we, we would love to discuss that we, that we read fairly constantly and, and uh, we'd love to share with you at some point in the future. But thank you for your time today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.